Hello everybody, welcome to this uh, broadcast where we are about to carry out some tests on this threshing machine built for the Fungon farm. Okay, so far, I bet you, I don't know, can you give us a bit of explanation uh, with regards to what are the functions of this machine? Okay, this machine is what we call the palm kernel nut stretcher. You must have this. Is the, Thank you. The main function of this machine is to reduce the tedious work that is often encountered in the farm, especially when farmers harvest Cup. their nuts from the farm. Normally, as you find the nuts, they are very tedious to separate actually extract the fruits that are going to extract oil. So this machine, this kernel treasure, the best use is that it will separate the nuts from the fruit. The components of the machine are as such. Here is a diesel driven machine. Here is a, di a diesel uh, driven machine. It is the main power box of the machine. It carries the shaft. It rotates the shaft at a speed of about 2,200 revolutions per minute. This is now speed that can permit us to detach the nuts from the cone. Then there is the main working body. The main working body, which is made up of the driving shaft that is found inside this box. And then ahead here, there is some sort of a seat. The use of this seat is to permit the nuts arriving here, they will pass through the holes of the seat, and then there is another seat below, which permits the nuts that are going through with this, the dust will pass right down, right to the floor, as you can see down here. Why the nuts? The seat is clean so that the nuts we are using the geometrical asset of the nuts. It's geometry because they are able to rotate and come down as we find here. And then in front here, we have the detached shafts. That is here you have something like the fibers where the nuts have been extracted. And uh, this is just the first thing to make. Our main purpose, as we said, is actually to ease the work because it's a famous work when we have to separate these nuts manually. So the main use of this machine is to facilitate the work. I can imagine that work that has to be done by about uh, 50 people, this machine can do it in less than 30 minutes because it can process about 5 tons of nuts in 30 minutes. Okay. Well, if we could have a... Uh... On the, an on-the-spot test of the machine, we we'll like it. Okay, the technician is going to start the machine. Okay, it is hard. Yeah, you, you start it with your hand. Yeah, that is hard. Manual. The demonstration is going to be done by the engineers who fabricated this machine. Uh, please like and share as you join in. In the days ahead, this machine will be heading to the Mentum Division. That's in uh, in Ten Farm, in Ten Valley of the Fungo Farm, where we expect it to reduce the work of the situation.
So. the capacity of the Tons per knot per hour. Or? Capacity of 14 and a half horsepower. Okay. With a revolution speed of 2,200 revolutions per minute. As you can see on the plate. So, the upper section, as you see here, is just that we are doing the testing, but normally this is where the cooling system is because okay. there will be an attached drum okay. that will put here that will have water because it's an engine that can work throughout the day. So it needs a cooling system. This is the cooling system. Cold water gets in here while the exit for cold water is down here. Okay. So how long did it take to fabricate this? Yes, in realizing it, we took about a month working day and night and we would have taken a shorter period if not due to power failures that we have around the quarter here for a general problem in Cameroon. Okay, thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, you think for yourself the beauty of this uh, newborn baby that is well, let's see. Okay. The beauty of this newborn baby that will be making its way to the Fungon farms in the Menchum division. It's a beauty. Do you have any other thing to add before we terminate our broadcast? Uh, just to say this is uh, in line with uh, a number of machines that we have to make for Fungon farms because the next aspect of this is that we want to improve the quality of farm oil that has been produced there because this will produce oil with a low degree of acidity That's that true. will give it more value in the market and uh, out of this machine there is another project in line that God willing after this we will get into is to transform the palm oil into finished products like soap and other things Can we get an idea of how much the machine will cost if someone contacts us for it? Yeah, a machine of this nature, you see the quality of ions that have been used there. Uh, this is close to 15 million francs. Okay. 15 million francs. Ladies and gentlemen, did you get that? So, can we have another demonstration of it again, please? I see some people joining in now and uh, they are requesting to have it go, go again. Oh. They need to see it start again? Yes. Please like and share as you join in. We are trying to see how the threshing machine that has been built for the Fungum farms actually functions. We are live from Douala in Cameroon.
So the machine is started manually, as we'll see. Why not we give me a camera? So we'll, we'll have a second demonstration of the machine in a big place. As you join in, please like and share. This is a new addition to the fleet of, of the Fungon farms. Coming down to the main zone, it will be announced so that the recession, a recession can be done.
Before you ladies and gentlemen, it's a machine that weighs approximately two tons. Uh, it has some weight. As you see, it's uh, trying to sink the ground. Okay, so we'll end our broadcast here. Thank you all for watching and please, if you didn't begin from the, from the start, you can go back and watch. Thank you.